Tonight, we're going to hear Dr. Joseph DeSimone. He's the CEO and co-founder of Carbon. Uh, we use light and oxygen to grow parts. This is a software-controlled chemical reaction. So we wrapped all this into an amazing printer, and now we're beginning to integrate everything into fully automated systems, and all these products are sitting on Carbon's manufacturing cloud, and it's really now a system solution in a full manufacturing digital workflow that enables us to work. Looking at all the excitement of 3D printing, we were left wanting because it was so cool yet so much limited to trinkets. It started with our approach for doing printing fundamentally different than how 3D printing was done prior to this. It's a chemist approach to resin renewal instead of a mechanical engineering approach. 3D printing today, it's about an $8 billion marketplace. Injection molding is a $330 billion market. It's a very different marketplace. And for polymers, that's, there's a lot of opportunity in all sorts of advanced materials and, and really small pixels to make things that only your imagination can hold you back. What's really pulling us forward is our customers are making the unmakeable. Lattices, consolidating six parts into one part. These things really drive this business forward. I, you know, I would encourage people to be thinking big. Strategy is all about being different. And I think having a unique approach that's compelling, that can actually be one of those breakthrough technologies that can really challenge how things are designed and made and allowing product teams to go faster and create tremendous value and performance and environmental stewardship are the kinds of things that inspire us. From our software engineers, our mechanical engineers, our material scientists, I think we would all say when you impact people's lives, it can be really motivating.